everyone, I'm Nancy and I'm one of the stewardship educators at MIR. So we're super happy to have you for these after school virtual eco literacy series. Um, we're gonna talk about this box that you'll get during your first session for your compost project. So in it, you'll find a bunch of things that you'll empty out so that you can use it as a compost box. These are the things that you'll need for your composting project. So empty box, put it to the side. In this bag, you'll have some cocoa powder and it will be labeled. In this, this cup, you'll have some biochar that will also be labeled. So the first thing you'll do is you'll pour your, your, your cocoa powder into a container where you will pour some water in it so that it's ready to be put into your box. Once you have it in your container, you'll pour some water in it. And as you do that, you'll see the cocoa car expanding, kind of like it's breathing. And this, this uh, cocoa car will be uh, the moisture retention element to your compost box. And it comes from the, from coconut. It's the fibers from the coconut. So we'll let it kind of keep doing it. Break up any chunks that you find like this. Kind of give it a massage. And then once you have it ready, you put it in your compost box. So just get, get your container, just carefully put it all in your box here. And get it all out. So then in your box you'll see, you'll kind of move it around to fill up, uh, fill up the bottom. This is charcoal that comes from biomass, which is organic matter that gets burned and turned into this really good stuff that helps also retain moisture and it helps keep your box from smelling since you'll be adding a lot of food waste in it. So once you put it in there, you're gonna mix it up with your hand again until you see the brown, the brown and the black. It looks like chocolate all together. And this is kind of how it looks. So it's like, it looks like brownie a little bit. And then it's ready. And so what you'll put in here is your food waste, like uh, any scraps that you have from lunch or dinner. It has to be um, like any vegetables, things, things that are easily biodegradable. You can't add like plastic spoons in it or anything. And so for example, this is onion and I'm, you want to have little, since this is a small compost box, you want your food scraps to be in small pieces. So just break them up with your hands but this is pretty good. Put them in there. I have these grapes that are moldy, so these are fine and we just like smush them in there. And here's, here are more scraps that I have here. They're all already broken up in small pieces. Like I have some carrot that I cut up for dinner yesterday. This is um, some cauliflower that I'm gonna cut up a little bit more so that it decomposes faster. Um, if you leave the chunks really big, it'll take longer to decompose, um, which it will still work, but it's, this is just a better way to do it since it's such a small compost system. All right. So then this is what it should look like when you just pour it in. And what you wanna do is you wanna cover it with your biochar and cocoa fire so that it starts decomposing kind of like how we see in nature everything is, gets absorbed by the ground so this is kind of how it should end up looking covered up nicely like that and you want to make sure you keep it in a place that has good airflow and make sure you keep it closed the whole time. Um, don't put it outside. This isn't meant to be an at-home compost system. If you put it outside, raccoons will get it or any rodents like that will get it. So this can go um, where your trash cans are in your kitchen, um, 
under your sink. Just make sure that it gets some um, good airflow. This is one I made in April, uh, like seven months ago. And I added this as a layer to help it stay moist. And so this is my little mixer that I have from home. And this has been used, I've put about like 30 dinners in here. And so far so good. We see things that are decomposing. What adds moisture to this compost box is the food that you put in it. But sometimes um, it gets dry either way. So just add a little sprinkle of water if it becomes too dry. Like mine is a little bit too dry. And not a lot of water, just like a little bit like that. And uh, shake it in, mix it in. And then this compost, when, once you, um, the, thing, the food starts breaking up, you'll see some dirt that you could use. For example, this right here doesn't have a big food trunks. You can use this to put a, to um, amend your plants at home or any little vegetables or herbs that you're growing at home. Just pour them on there. And it's really good nutrients for your food. So we'll provide you with this care sheet here that I've actually been keeping um, with my compost bin and it's doing just fine. Um, and it helps me remember what I could put in it and what I can't put in it. So just keep it in your box, kind of like in there. And it'll remind you what to put in it and what not to put in it.